All right. Pretty happy to be doing another movie review. I know I haven't done one in a while. There's no excuse on my part. I just I haven't got around to it, but uh, I wanted to put it like that. That's the best excuse. That's the best reason I could come up with. But anyway, this movie is the 2016 movie, The Nice Guys. Um, starring Ryan Gosling, Russell Crowe, and a young Australian actress with the last name of Rice. Now, um... Two private detectives hired by two different people to find the same girl. So, of course, Ryan Gosling is one and Russell Crowe is another one. They do... I, I can't speak highly enough of... The script on this thing must have been outstanding. I can't speak highly enough of the execution and... Uh, the execution by the actors to bring these characters to life in this film. They do a great job of doing a narration, or uh, no, I mean a voice. I'm sorry, a voiceover of both characters as an introduction to to them. Excuse me. And they do such a good job where they don't give you their whole life stories. They give you just enough information to uh, let you know what, who these characters are and where they stand. And that, that's all you, all you need in order to enjoy the movie. I feel like so. As the the movie unfolds, um, I started to see little things, uh, things I really love, which are th those little itty bitty things that no one really, I guess that a lot of people don't really pick up on, s such as um, there's an instance when Ryan Gosling's character is at a bar. He's trying to get information from a bartender. Now, you see this scene so many times in um, uh, um, detective movies like this. Hey. All you got to do is pay the guy, ask him how much, you know, pretty much done deal. But in his case, he, he does he does wind up trying to pay him. But the character takes the time to fold the, the currency note in the shape of like a button down shirt. Might be shaking this a lot. There we go. Takes the time to fold the currency in the form of a button down shirt. And he's walking it down the bar and just stuff like that. I'm just like. I'm all, I'm really hooked now because I'm trying to see what else I can find in a movie that's that's interesting like that. But I'm also drawn to uh, the character's dialogue, and I'm gonna have to spit this out right now. The young lady uh, who played Ryan Gosling's daughter had just as much screen time as Russell Crowe and and Ryan, but she held her own. I feel like child actors have stepped up their game. Um, in recent years and, and especially in mo I've, I think I've reviewed a few movies where the child actor actually done a better job than the adult actor now as as far as I'm concerned if I watch a movie with an older actor I feel like they should do uh, at least a decent job or, or better than decent when they're portraying a character but I, you know and I guess in some cases um the child actor may even may even have worked longer than the adult actor so you know can't blame her for that but i'm just like hey you got to be outclassed by uh, uh someone who's not even of legal age to drink or buy cigarettes can't even get their learner's permit yet jeez that's that's got to sting a little bit at least in my book but anyway um not to say she did that i say she held her own i say she did better than him even Russell Crowe with his, it wasn't no gladiator. It wasn't that type of performance. I, I, I'll say that. It wasn't gladiator because, hey, that, that movie's probably up there. That movie's probably up there in my top 20. I, I don't know if it's top 10 worthy, but it's top 20. It's a really quality movie. But um, it, um th there's one, one instance in there where, where something else pops up, like a little detail pops out to me. Uh, Russell Crowe's character is in a, in a tight situation, but um, everything in his apartment, electrical, like the stove, the light, the the, uh, the refrigerator, I believe, which wouldn't make no sense, but it probably wasn't a refrigerator, but the light, the, the alarm, all that stuff is tied into two switches on the wall. So when they're in there and he's in this tight, he basically has, he has firearms pointed at him, he flips them, 
everything comes on at the same time. It's a sensory overload, and it's going to shock the people that are there to do harm to him. And it, cre it, it creates a very interesting scene. And, you know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a couple more instances in there where each one of those characters share. And even, even um, the young lady, she shares an instance like that. They're in another tight situation, and she she plays room she plays like she's delivering room service to uh uh to the room in order to gain access but you know the, the young lady who's uh who was played in she didn't play she was a contestant on a reality show america's top model that's where i knew her from i've not seen that face somewhere yeah i watched it whatever um but trying to think fast on her feet she's like yeah i'm in there trying to play coy and she winds up throwing a pot of coffee on her. Now, it would have worked if... It would have been a great distraction if the coffee was, like, scalding hot, but it was cold. It's like, what are you, what are you doing? It, it, it's little stuff like that that pops up in this movie time and time again, which makes it so great. I mean, I would love... Uh, I'm probably going to do that after I get done recording. I'm probably going to try and see if I can find the, uh, the screenplay for this just so I could like read it over because it has to be amazing and but now i'm going to get to uh my my reasoning for this movie not doing so hot um it's because they have an agenda they're pushing an agenda they're targeting big business which is a no-no you can't target somebody who holds that much influence and you know i'm talking in real life right now so um to try and deny the the power that money holds over people you know you're just lying to yourself uh and another thing you know consumerism is it's like what it was that saying it's large and in charge or something like that i mean people are blinded by shiny things and um that's just a fact some more than others i'm of course i'm not every person i'm not everybody's life hey i'm susceptible to that too uh i like new shoes uh, you know m you know i'm not spending outrageous amounts of money on them my um what is it my meter for outrageous would be over two hundred dollars i don't spend over two hundred dollars on a pair of shoes and i don't spend 199 either <laughs> But you, you you get what I'm saying. I, I just feel like I don't want to take this down the path of, of a conspiracy. Not saying, oh, because they were targeting big business, it had to be uh, suppressed. Like, no, it was a good movie. There were some things that uh, maybe weren't popping for everybody. I I don't feel like it's the best movie I've ever seen. I don't feel like it probably was the best movie of 2016. I have to go back and look and see what came out in 2016. Can't remember off the top of my head, but it's a good movie. It, it up until the part where you basically get beat over the head with um um where you get beat over the head with uh with this idea of big business being evil. Um, it's a good movie. It actually runs flat towards the end because of that. I feel like, but it fizzles out. But there's you can't take your eyes off of the Ryan Gosling character because they've designed it to be this buffoon, um, simple, lovable, uh, uh, really lucky character that I, I don't think... You, it's rare to see a character, first of all, written like that. Second of all, portrayed like that. It's rare to see a character like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's tons of these characters out there. I haven't seen them. And Russell Crowe, even though he's, like I said, even though it's not a gladiator type performance, without him, the movie wouldn't be the same. And, you know, um, he takes a back seat to Ryan Gosling and his daughter because their relationship is something else inside this movie. And, and you know, it's just, I think his character, Ryan Gosling's character actually actually puts the movie in a stranglehold to be honest with you he's the character is so interesting that i think russell crowe is a great contrast to it now that i think about it so like i said without him it wouldn't be the same movie it'd be like you'll be sitting there like whoa this is this is too much it's it's too goofy now you need russell crowe 
was recorded kind of like what's going on with this phone here is it still charging yeah that's the charge actually it's 100 percent. but yeah i'm gonna rate it pretty high i'm gonna give it an a plus <laughs> plus aside from the agenda that they're trying to push you know it it, they, they don't do it covertly at all. It's really obvious what they're trying to do. They're targeting big business. Hey, it is what it is. Still a good movie, though. 